Right. So let's talk about our second team. It's that bad. Oh, and real quick, real real quick, I'm sorry. They did they did make some changes. That I'm, I apologize mm-hmm. before we go on. The Giants did make some changes. The one change that they made, they made they brought in the defensive coordinator from the Ravens, Dan Martindale. So that means their def- defense is going to be very aggressive, which it wasn't a bad thing. And they also drafted that kid from Oregon. I, I want to say Thibodeau. That's his name. I'm, I know I'm saying it wrong, but the defensive end from Oregon, he, he, he got a sprained MCL from the knee buckle block that, that came the other night. But that's neither here nor there. They are they're building towards the right direction. So, like I said, that's what's making me say more than four games, but it's going to be under eight. Good luck. This is the Giants, man. I don't, <laughs> I don't have too much to say on that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. But transition into the second scene okay. that you got a lot of notes on. <laughs> My boy got a whole notepad on this. Wait. <laughs> so th- this tells me this is going to be good. Yeah, buckle up. Okay. No. St- still a fans. Buckle up. <laughs> still curtain. <laughs> Get behind this wall. No, no, no. It's it's not it's not as bad as you think. All right. So let's start. So let's start off. We're officially over the Ben Roethlisberger era. Facts. One thing that I am, um, I was a little nervous coming into this season mm-hmm. because it's always that bridge year of what well, we got to see, and then obviously rest in peace to the quarterback, um, Dwayne, Dwayne Haskins, Haskins yeah. that passed away. Because I was high on him, I thought you know he would be a little that that would be like a little assurance policy for us. But then he mm-hmm. passed away. Rest in peace to him and condolences to his family. Right. So I didn't know what to think of this season, but you were filling my ear and telling me, "Yo, D." It's not going to be as bad as you think it is. Right. So I want you to take it away and lead on this. Okay. Well, to, to go into last season, the Steelers, um, it was tough. You know, um, Tomlin started off the season one and five. And then he ended. It's a long season for me. Right. And then he and then he ended the season nine, seven, and one and made it to the playoffs. And it clicked, you know, the first round was the Kansas City Chiefs. That's, that's you know. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of difficult to kind of defeat that. But um, no excuses. Um, he 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 ended he ended strong. He still has yet to have a losing season in his whole coaching tenure. Right, so real quick, salute mm-hmm. to Mike Tomlin for that because not too many coaches can say that. Mm-hmm. You know, he got a lot of heat. I know I'm a Steeler fan, so mm-hmm. when I tune into the media, I'm looking on them social media boards. And what did you hear? I think it's yeah. time to move on from Mike Tomlin. Yeah, all the time, it's all the time. I think it's time let to me, move on from Mike Tomlin. But go ahead. Right, and let me say that my response to that is: think about what the Giants are going through. They mm-hmm. wish they had those type of problems. Think about I'm a Falcons fan. We wish we had those type of problems. We just make it to the playoffs every other year or, or every year. And, and then we sneak into we, the last round. Of right, the we're getting to the last round. And then we make it to, we make it further than we think we're going to make it. And then we, right, you know, so. A lot, I, of, a I, lot of teams I, wish. I wish that was the type of problems we had. So that's starting off. But with Tomlin, he's 3-7 and seven in, in his last 10 playoff games. That's not great, but at the same time, look at what he's had to deal with, look at what he's had to work with, and look at what he's going through. He's He was in the Brady era. It's, yeah. like, it's kind of like with Jordan. If you played in the Jordan era, you're going to get the pass if you never got a ring because it wasn't that you wasn't a great player. You were in the Jordan era. Mm-hmm. That's hard to win. That's hard to win in that era. So I think with Tomlin, you know, his, his, his biggest obstacle was Brady. Brady's out the way. But Roethlisberger was still there, and he clearly was over the hill. Now Roethlisberger is gone. Um, I think that the issues that Pittsburgh had, from what I was doing my research, they had a problem. They had a problem running the ball. Even though Najee Harris got twelve hundred yards, because I know where you're going with this. He <laughs> I got. No, I was about to jump on that. He he got twelve hundred yards, but they were twenty third in rushing. There's thirty two teams, and they were last in rush defense. Yeah, let oh, that sit there. Remember, we was watching that game, and yeah. I'm just like, yo, hey, they running wild on us. Yeah, so so Tomlin, his issue was, and they always say this in football, the, it's, it's the basic foundation of every football team, every football game. You got to be able to run the ball and stop the run. If you can't mm-hmm. do those two things, you're going to have a long day. And how he fought through that with those stats at 9-7-1 and one is, is unbelievable. Now, let me also say this. When you're last and when you, when you're twenty third and running the ball, and you know you 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 kind of can't stop the run. It's different if that was the Kansas City Chiefs because you know they air you out all day. Yeah. So when they're twenty third and rushing, it's like yeah, we we know why they're low down and rushing. But when you're a Pittsburgh Steelers football team, okay, and we're not in the days of A B 
in in uh, what was the other Le'Veon kids? Le'Veon Bell. Name? Le'Veon Bell. Right, all those weapons they had. That that weapons. that that's not you. Done. Right, you wasn't at that. So to sit and hear that 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 being said, um, that was kind of shocking. So what Tomlin did this season was he went out and I think they spent money on a center a and, and a guard. And a center and a guard, they fixed the, they, they're trying to fix the offensive line. They spent $70 million on an offensive line. Let that sit there. They also went on and got Mitchell Trubisky, who, who got a bad rap in Chicago and can clearly play. They drafted Kenny Pickett, who where reports oh, are coming out of camp. Have you seen that? They said he's ready yeah, to play now. Yeah, buddy. They, I'm hyped. <laughs> they got Mason Rudolph, who he knows the system. Max. He's in the show. Let me tell you, let me tell you what's, what's happening right now with, that, with the quarterback situation. We're going to start there. Right now... Every those three quarterbacks are all playing for jobs. Mm-hmm. Pickett's okay. It's just when is he going to start? Trubisky's okay. He can. He if they're looking at Trubisky is can he can he beat Pickett out for the job? If he can what, beat Pickett out for the job, if 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 he beats Pickett out for the job because they only signed him for two years, mm-hmm. right? So if he beats Pickett out for the job, they're like they're looking for the franchise. Either Trubisky's going to start or he's going to be the backup. With Mason, they're looking at it like. You better show us why we, we need to keep you here. You better show us a reason why we need to keep you here. Because it's no longer going to work. It's no longer going to work that you were the backup to Ben and you are insurance policy for like mm-hmm. five games. Yeah. We're not doing that with you no more. You need to show us why we need to keep you here. Did mm. you see Pickett yes. bearing it out? The yeah. kid has an arm, man, yeah. and I'm hyped for him. I, yeah. I hope health does him good, man. Mm-hmm. But go ahead. So it's it's what a situation is. Their running game, of course, with Najee Harris, and they spent money on that line. Now, and 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 I think I think running the football, in in that they should be good. Um, they 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 might have some pain painful woes with with the receiving. Now, I'm hearing about they they drafted this kid named um uh, Calvin Austin, mm-hmm. okay, and I think that they're looking at. Chase Claypool and Deontay Johnson because they let Juju Smith shoes to go and they left Jane Washington walk out the door also. Yeah, so, I, I know why they let Jane Washington walk out the why, door. Why they let Jane Washington? We walk was out. watching that game with them four yeah, drop yeah. passes. Like he okay. needed some stick them on them gloves. Yeah, man. I don't yeah. know what he was doing. He so so with them with with him, they're um, what was I gonna say? They they're basically looking at they're looking at guys to step up like on the offense. They'll be competitive this year. Let's just say that they'll be competitive this year. But the thing is, is that they're fixing they're, what they're doing is, and what Pittsburgh is is smart. They're fixing what the problems were last season, so at least on the back end they don't have to deal with that. Yeah, they're dealing with that. And then on you know on the, on the defensive end, you got you got Tuit coming back. Cam Hayward is always a beast, but he can't do it by himself. They 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 got Miles Jack from Jacksonville, the linebacker, so he can stuff their he can help. They're looking to stuff the run. They're looking at they're looking at they made that middle of that defense strong. So you got you got TJ Watt on the outside, you got Tuit and Hayward on the inside, you got Miles Jack on the back end, and you got um Fitzpat is is what's his name? Um um yeah, Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick. Yeah, yeah. You got him on the back end. So you have you you have you have the middle of the defense that's kind of strong. Um when you have a strong a strong defense in the middle, you make everything go into the middle. You get what I'm saying? So I think that's what they're looking at. Now, let me say this about Pittsburgh. I understand and Tom always finds a way to do it, but you got to remember, Lamar Jackson's coming back. Joe Burrow's not going anywhere. And whether the Browns got Jacoby Brissett now, they got Deshaun Watson coming. Okay, so oh, I want to I, I wanna, I wanna make sure what I'm saying to you is this, this is not – I think Pittsburgh's looking at it, and we've talked about this before – it may not look like it's a good move now, or it might it's look gonna, like it's gonna so, be a season. Or so two. just if they if they be, if they're nine and eight, like Tom and always seems to pull it out, and I deal with that. Right, they're looking at we're looking to, we're looking to build a team that's going to compete with the Lamar Jackson that we're going to deal with for the next for five, five years. years, and we're building a team to compete with Joe Burrow because all these guys are young, so they need their young we gotta, guy. We got to build for them right. seven years and out that, to exactly. compete with them, so we don't go into dark ages. Facts, and that's and I think that's what they're doing. They're taking a page from clearly learning from what the Giants did. They don't want to be at the back end, looking at it six years, six years you ain't made the playoffs. But anyway, none of good over there. So what I'm saying is, is that. I think that they're doing everything right. Everything that the moves that they're making, that Tomlin is making, and that that GM is making, 
they're making all the right moves for the future. So they'll be competitive this year. I would say they'll be nine and eight. Um, I, I I don't. I mean, if Pickett goes in, they're gonna, I think they're going to win less than nine games. I don't. I don't. I don't. I mean, Pickett comes in there. <laughs> what are you doing, man? <laughs> what do you want to put yeah, another case? Still a nation. You want to? You want another case? Still a nation. Mm. He said, if Pickett goes in, we're going to be less than nine and eight, ten and seven. Put a case on. Oh, you think you think Roethlisberger? You think they have the Roethlisberger luck? Ten and seven, still a nation. Stand up, still a. Oh God. Stand up, still a nation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. You want to put a case on it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll put right. a case on it. Mr. Atlanta Falcons over there going to put another case on the still a nation. I just want to say about the still a nation. I since y'all feel so cocky, I can't wait till he starts standing next to Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, and Deshaun Watson, and say stand ten and up, seven. still a nation. 10 and 7. We ain't scared. We ain't never scared. So let's transition. Oh my God. Look at you. <laughs> yeah.